Yeah. So following your work, I can see that psychology really is um, is really at the heart of bridging these worlds in so many ways, understanding why people tick the way that they do mm-hmm. so that we can really come to terms with, hey, neither is right or wrong, mm-hmm. but, you know, what is the approach that espouses the best outcomes? And I can see why, yeah, you said this earlier on, it's disengagement from learning is a disengagement from life and why it becomes such a spiritual conundrum in some ways because... Yeah disengagement from life is is a spiritual conundrum whereas disengagement from learning is a is a is a schooling and an education problem right, right, right um because following your work there is definitely you hold space for psychology and then you hold space for politics as well because I guess that's within where the education model sort of lives within is, is heavily influenced by exactly. um, let's call it that but then you mentioned school leadership and I was like that is that's an interesting piece. Now, I'm acutely aware at this juncture in the conversation, it makes a lot of sense. But prior right. to coming right. to this conversation, like psychology, politics, I understood, but school leadership, I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. What, is, what does Don really from? mean by that and where is he taking the conversation? Right. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah. that's where it's an interesting piece because um, looking at leadership as a way of so so I make this distinction between leadership and management mm. where management is really when if I'm the manager my job is to take responsibility for the existence of the organization mm-hmm. I have to make sure that the bills are paid that people are hired and fired whatever it is I have to deal with the organization so it's if you think of, a, of a, the organization as a certain level and then within that, at a separate level, there are all the individuals that make up that organization. But they have individual needs. Mm-hmm. And the organization has a set of needs that are independent of those individuals. The organization has to have funds to operate and it has to have mm-hmm. you know, employees to do things or you know, people, labor of some kind, mm-hmm. to do something. And so that's where the management is about that level. Mm-hmm. Leadership is about how do we align the different levels at which this organization exists. So, so in addition to the management level, you could also look at how that uh, organization deals with other organizations. So, how do I deal with my suppliers? How do I deal with with my uh, government who's regulating my how I do my accounts and how I what compliance I'm doing? So, you have these levels: individuals, organizations, and then the organizations of organizations, states, other or- mm. the whole thing. Leadership is about how do the needs at all levels align so that everyone thrives. That's leadership. Is not only do, is my organization going to survive and thrive, which is what where management overlaps with leadership, is looking at that organization level. But leadership is to say, how do my individuals who make up my organization, how do I ensure that they're thriving as much as the organization is? Mm. And when you look at this from this lens of like, oh, human needs really define the whole thing, is you're just giving them the opportunity to be the best kind of learner they can be. (laughs) Isn't that ultimately what an organization is, is getting someone to learn what's the reality this organization confronts and Mm. how do we ensure that we have an accurate grasp of that reality and react appropriately to the opportunities and, and challenges that are occurring in that space that the organization is facing because the organization is solving problems ultimately is its core remit yeah and so coming face to face with that reality it has as i say you know learning learning organizations well if it's not a learning organization it's dead (laughs) Mm. Uh, you know it's gonna fail if it's not learning and and the only way that learning can happen is in human brains Mm -hmm. i've i've so a part of my background is that I did, uh, I was the treasurer for a, a local environmental nonprofit. So I was the primary administrator and bookkeeper for, for a group that has done, you know, a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. So I did the payroll and I did the, you know, I've managed those systems. When you get those systems going, you, you have to realize that there's, there's all these different parts that have to align, you know, and, and, and if I don't take care of my people, if I don't, if they're not, Oh, oh the, the, so so my one of my uh, co-founders in the group uh, 
just insisted on everything being written down. Like you have to have manuals for everything. Now that's kind of a corporate en uh, uh, attitude. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think he's actually backed off of it, of it over the years. But his idea was that if you put everything in a book, then it, then it exists independent of the person who wrote it and should enable the organization to know something about how that works. It's yeah. not that simple. Someone needs It'd to read it. It'd be great if it was that simple. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's where it really is, you know, challenging to, to you. It's a, it's a consequence of that sort of, if it's in here and I can put it out there, then it exists. And it's, it's like, that's mm. not how organizations work. Organizations rely on human brains. Mm -hmm. They exist inside human brains. And, and you have to be able to get those brains to function optimally for the mm. environment that your organization is facing. And so you have to really, organizations have to be fundamentally about the humans that make them up. And there's these, these ideas that you can just go in and exploit workers and you know, pay them very little and, and you know, have them pay starvation wages. You know, it's like when you, scale, you do that at a certain scale, it worked. You know, mm. It produced profits. It produced GDP. But it doesn't produce thriving humans. Mm. And that's where I think we're in, the, we're in a shift now. And I think organizations are starting to catch on. And, 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 and you know, there's interesting examples around the world of different places where it's like you can flatten that hierarchy and get rid of that bureaucracy and still mm. produce amazing results. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can still have a large organization, but flat and organizationally, you know, where you don't mm -hmm. have to have layers of bureaucracy to get everything done. You can actually make it smaller. Uh, there's an example of this in China. Uh, there's an uh, organization called Hire. It's mm. actually a global, uh, but it started in China. Um, makes refrigerators, you know, appliances. Actually makes a lot more now, but that's where it started. Mm. Um, and, you know, you think traditional, you know, they actually started out as a very hierarchical, government-run organization. But mm. over the course of the last 30 years or so, they've been through, going through this transformation. There's, there's now anybody in the organization is only two steps from the CEO. Oh, wow. You know, it's Very like different. they've flattened it completely. They've got, mm. you know, they're, they're thriving for one, they've, and their people are mm. thriving. Uh, there's some books about it. Um, it's really fascinating stuff. Um, but that's where it's really interesting is when you really get these organizations to function in, in this way where you're, you're challenging people around autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Mm -hmm. You're giving them access to those fundamental supports. They thrive. And that causes your organization to be better at what it does, because mm -hmm. it's now to it's utilizing those human brains to mm -hmm. figure out what's going on, and it's mm. coordinating and figuring that out together that's actually making it work. I, 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 I